Hello everyone, we're back after a good hike. Gotta wear out the dog. Uh, I'm gonna kind of reset my expectations for this drive. Uh, unfortunately, Elon kind of ruined that. I expected big improvements. My mind to be blown. Um, I just have to be honest. I am not gonna be someone that's not gonna be honest in my videos. I will not deceive people. It is impressive what they are doing, but version for a version, it is not a mind blown leap, for sure. 9.2 was a better leap over 9.1 than 9.2 to version 10 was, at least currently. Now, there's probably a lot of minute changes that we have to figure out. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to keep on driving. We're going to figure out what what is better on this version. Obviously, you saw a lot of um, my, minor things better with the previous version. First thing, this still isn't better. As you can see, the lines go straight. Uh, they're, they're directional. This is the only way you can go out of this park, parking lot. You'll even see it. You'll even see it on the visualization. Is a is an arrow to go one way, and the navigation's going the opposite way. So that again is my biggest issue: is routing. If they fix that, it's ready. It's ready for the masses because that is by far my biggest issue and causes by far the most issues for me. Is that it just wants to go the wrong way? Poor poor maps, poor navigation. I think the reason why everyone in California and out on the West Coast have it so much better is because their maps work. Uh, they have good maps uh, in that area. In this area, it's just you don't have the high definition, ridiculous quality maps and accurate uh, road data that you do out west. And so that's very likely is why um, they have much better driving than I do here. So I have to wait actually until we're past that, otherwise it's going to freak out. Now turn right onto Little River Road. In 500 feet, turn there we left go. onto Greenville Highway. And it turned on the right blinker because I thought I was still turning right out of there. So we're going to see right here if we have an improvement. Now turn left onto we're taking a left here. Highway. And the last time I went through here, it didn't make it without me disengaging. The last few times before that, it did not. Let's see. That is an improvement. That's exactly how I like to turn that turn. It stays a little bit more on the left side. Before, it was swinging too wide and got too close to the, the curb, and um, it just freaked me out. I didn't want to curb my wheels. It, just, it was too close. That right there, I'd say, was pretty much perfect. Closing that up. I hate exhaust smells in the morning, especially. Um, but this is just gonna be a short little drive. We've done this before. Um, and we're going to see how it takes this a roundabout on this route and a little small uh, uh, city driving um, and then we'll be to our destination. I'm going to break up these in a little bit smaller videos, uh, easier to get out. This will be, uh, I'll make this come out this afternoon um, today, so today is the 11th uh, and we'll have a couple videos today and I'll have a couple tomorrow probably as well and just to kind of get some good videos out all at once. Uh, do uh, subscribe if you want to see Asheville again. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and do that. We are going up to Asheville tomorrow, same route we did last time, to do testing in Asheville to see if there's any improvement. Uh, it seems like the main improvement right here is that it is more confident on where the road edges are, which is important. Uh, I think if it's more confident where the road edges are, there's certain like the turning disengagements will be decreased just like I explained earlier on that turn back um, where we got onto this road uh, it can see the edge of the road better and thus can prevent us from or from me from disengaging because I thought it was going to hit the curb okay so we have a car in front of us this time like the last two times we went free here so it's gonna react a little bit differently. I think it's slowing because of the car, but it is doing this well. Oh, you yield, not stop, yield. <laughs> Besides the trying to stop at a yield, uh, it actually did very well. Uh, it, it, it was smoother uh, going through the roundabout. It just, it tried to stop at the yield. And so that's, it, it will do that on and off on uh, the last couple updates. It'll either stop or go through it. Just, I don't know if there was a car coming on the left that wasn't in the roundabout yet. I thought maybe it probably was over cautious for that car and decided to stop. Um, 
because it just wasn't sure, essentially, I think is what happened. do it no I'm gonna have to disengage okay so that was a clear disengagement that again this is worse than the last time and I had the car beat behind me because the car wasn't going I had to press the accelerator to get it go through so that, again this is worse than um, version 9.3 it's just, it's so disappointing that Elon hyped it up so much. Like, this is going to be mind-blowing. This is, like, going to fix everything. That's what it sounds like. Like, that's, it's, it's just disappointing. You get, you set your expectations wrong. Even though, it's like, you automatically know every time he says it's mind-blowing, it's not really that mind-blowing. In terms of, like, if we, you, if you came from, like, version 8 to, nine, uh, to version 10, that would be incredible. That would be a huge leap. But that took almost a year, like uh, three-fourths of a year to get to that point, which is crazy fast, mind you, for how the, the amount of, okay, I'm pushing us through this, the amount of improvements they've had. It's crazy, it's crazy how fast this has improved, um, in my opinion. But there, it's false expectations of saying this is a mind-blowing. Mind-blowing to me would be like all of a sudden, I'm like nine out of 10 of my drives are zero disengagement. That's mind blowing in my in my eyes. That's what would it take to be mind blowing. So we'll see if this is better. I remember it tried. Yep, yeah, did this before. It didn't mess up this time. Get on it. Get in the lane. You gotta be kidding me. This is so much worse. It missed the turn again. And th this is this is so disappointing. Again, I'm gonna be honest, it's it's worse. Beta version 10, beta 10 is unequivocally worse than beta 9.2. And so that wasn't a disengagement. We're just um, pulling into our parking lot here. I just, I can't, I, can't, I, I just don't understand. Um, I just, as you can tell, I'm just, I'm really disappointed because what it did is it completely missed the turn. You can see the line, you can see the little tentacle, the path projection line. And every single time it messed up. This is the worst it's ever been in terms of in path prediction. It's never missed this many turns before. I just, I'm just going to be honest. Uh, this is a step backward. I expect him to fix this. Like, I don't, don't, don't get me wrong. This isn't going to keep on getting worse. It will get better again. But this is not the improvement they said it was going to be. And they need to set realistic expectations of what's going to happen. And this saying this was a huge leap forward is not an accurate statement for at least to Western North Carolina. That could be different for California, but for Western North Carolina, it is not better. We'll uh, stop here on this section of this video, and then I'll take us back through downtown and through some city driving, see how it does, and see if that might be improved as well. Thanks to everyone.